Pretty paper, pretty ribbons of blue. Man, oh man, I just love Christmas. It's just so darn neat. I kind of wish every day was Christmas, except for Christmas Eve and uh, the Fourth of July. Who wouldn't want to miss out on those fireworks, would we? When I was a kid, we used to get the Christmas catalog from Montgomery Ward's in Chicago. Sometimes we'd get it as early as late August. That was the big book of wishes, hopes, and desires. My three brothers and I were allotted 25 bucks apiece, including tax. So I'd make up a different Christmas list every night from the 1st of September to the 24th of December. Matter of fact, let me present you my Christmas credentials. When I was three years old, at least as my mother told me, I ate an entire ornament. I ate a big red one, I thought it was an apple. They kind of freaked out and was going to take me to the hospital, but they couldn't stop me from laughing, so they just left me alone. So I guess I still got that Christmas in me all the time, you know? One year I got a wooden roly-poly for Christmas. You know, the things you knock down and then they bounce right back up. They made them out of wood then, that's how old I am. Nowadays, I guess they make them out of plastic. My mom says they just don't make them like that anymore. I says, no, Ma, they don't. Then there was the year uh, I come home on leave from the Army, from Germany, to marry my high school sweetheart on the day after Christmas. My little brother Billy, who was 12 at the time, had just gotten his first job, so he was able to afford to buy uh, some Christmas presents for his brothers and his mom and dad out of his own pocket. Billy had a job selling subscriptions for the Chicago Tribune. He told me this guy named Rocky would pick him up in a station wagon, him and some other boys, and he'd take him out to some strange neighborhood and drop him off, and he gave him this whole spiel to give their potential customers. Supposedly, uh, their little brother had won a free trip to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. But he couldn't go on the trip if his older brother couldn't accompany him. So if you'd please buy a subscription to the Chicago Tribune, then my little brother will be very happy. Wow, what a shyster. Some people do anything to get to the White House. Then there was the year that my mom and dad gave me my first guitar. Oh, man, it was gorgeous. I still got the thing. It was uh, like aqua blue. Kind of dark aqua blue with a cream-colored heart. It was a silver tone from Montgomery Wards. The model was called Kentucky Blue. And man, when I saw that sitting under the tree, I just couldn't wait. First year or so, I didn't know how to play it. I'd just stand in front of the mirror with a string around my neck with that guitar, and I'd try to look like Elvis. Then my brother Dave taught me a couple of chords, and now I'm here in your living room singing and talking to you. <laughs> it's funny how things work out. So, uh, why don't you go find a stranger and extend your hand to him? If you see somebody that looks like uh, they ain't doing quite as well as you, slip them a buck, especially if they don't ask for a spare change. Go buy your honey a cuckoo clock or a musical snow-shaking water ball. And when you wind it up, it plays, I want you, I need you, I love you with all my heart cause after all hell man it's Christmas <laughs> away in a manger no crib for a bed the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head the stars in the sky look down where he lay The little Lord Jesus asleep on the One, two, hey! hey! Merry Christmas, everybody.